Rome Day 2 Welcome to the St. Peter's Square. I arrived. <laughs> The St. Peter's Square is a large plaza located directly in front of the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City. Now I'm going a little bit exploring and currently I'm searching for this sign on the floor from the movie Illuminati. But I can't find it. Oh, hopefully I will find it soon. We will see. Well, I found it! Well, the funny little thing is I'm not the first time at the St. Peter Square. A few years ago I went here with a youth group um, because there was like the Pope and something over 60,000 church workers, I don't know how it's called though. And this whole square was completely filled with people, over 60,000. It was hot as hell and there was no space. So it's pretty funny for me to be back and seeing it empty there. I think we stood somewhere here. We had to wait out the door for like two hours, completely smacked into a bunch of people, hot as hell. But now, it's definitely more beautiful, empty though. After a while, I visited the Vatican Museum, which is incredible, but much bigger than I expected it to be. The museum contains roughly 70,000 works. At the end is the Sistine Chapel, with the famous painting from Michelangelo. Sadly, you weren't allowed to film or take photos inside the chapel. Then it was already time to leave the St. Peter's Square. At night was the final match from the European Championship, Italy versus England. I watched it in front of a little restaurant near my hostel. Normally I'm not into soccer, but this time I had to watch. The atmosphere really got me and I joined the excitement. It was an intense match. Italy finally won and whole Rome celebrated. Don't forget to subscribe to see how my solo travel adventure goes on.